Morgan with a Van Answer here, and today I'm going to show you how I made this PVC backdrop frame. I built it in my living room and for under $20. So let's jump right into this project and I'll show you how I made it. The tools I use for this project are a PVC pipe cutter, a tape measure, and a permanent marker. You'll also need four 10 foot lengths of one inch PVC pipe. And we'll be using the entire length of these pipes. So we're going to make some aggregate cuts and here's how those cuts will break down. We'll need two eight foot lengths, two four foot lengths, two three foot lengths, four two foot lengths, and two one foot lengths. In addition to this, you'll also need a couple fittings to pick up from the hardware store. And those are two 90 degree bends and four T couplers. Once all the pipe is cut to length and you have everything assembled, we're ready to start putting this together. Now I'm here in my living room and I'm gonna show this in real time because this goes up super fast. This is how we're gonna put the feet together. I've got a two foot section, a one foot section, and a T. Now you can do two two foot lengths or a two foot length and a one foot length to make the feet. I opted to do it this way since I'm gonna be pushing this up against a wall and wanted it to be really tight to that wall, but you can absolutely use all the two foot sections to make it more stable. Next I took a four foot section and attached it to the last opening on the T and this is gonna create the lower part of our leg and we'll repeat this on the other side. You'll notice that I am only dry fitting everything here. I'm not gluing anything together because I wanna be able to disassemble this later and store it away. And it's much easier to do that in lots of little pieces. It's also helpful if you have a wall to lay these against. Um, so as I get the next couple pieces, that wall's gonna be really helpful. You'll notice I have another T-section here in the three foot length, and you're gonna rotate the foot and point the T-section so the middle opening is facing the center point of what will be your backdrop. And I just take that three foot length and push it straight down into that coupling. And then as the next piece rolls to me, I'm gonna take that next T and the other three foot length and assemble the other side in the exact same way. Make sure you rotate it. And the square this is to start with the better. You see me fumbling a little later with it, trying to square everything up. So the more perpendicular you are to the feet, the better. The next step is a little easier if you have someone to help you, but can totally be done by yourself. I'm using an eight foot length here. This will span across the center point and I'm just gonna tip it up and push it in towards me and try and pull it as tight as possible and then just hold it so it doesn't fall over until you can get the other side in. It's helpful if someone can hold the other side, but it's not necessary. I was able to do all of this by myself. For the last piece I'm grabbing, it's our final eight foot length and I've already put on here our two elbow joints. Make sure those elbow joints are facing the same direction and this will make your life a lot easier when you go to attach this. I'm pretty tall so I was able to do this without a stepladder, but I would strongly advise a stepladder um, as I was on my tiptoes trying to make this happen. I also pulled down on this a little bit just to make sure everything is tight and I did the same on the other side. And I'm just gonna fiddle with it a tad, make sure everything's tight and square. And that's it. In under three minutes, this pipe backdrop is ready to go. But what fun is it to just see pipe? So I'm gonna show you how I decorate this for a spring themed food and beverage table. Morgan here, and I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of the subscribers to the Event Answer channel. This project has only been made possible by subscribers like you for encouraging this content. I've been an event planner for more than five years now, and when I first started, it was hard to find information about how to put on an event and how to do it really professionally. And so it's always been my dream to share the knowledge that I've learned over the last couple years with event planners who are just getting started. And this YouTube channel has been a product of that. So I want to thank all of the subscribers to the YouTube channel for being a support to this project. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that red button below and turn on the notification bell. I would love to hear from you. Um, if you're just getting started in the event planning industry and have questions, leave them in the comments below. I want to hear about them and hopefully I can answer some of your questions. If there's projects that you want to see or learn how to do, put them below and I would love to do them for you. So thanks for subscribing and let's get back into it.
enjoyed today's project. I love how versatile this piece is. You can check out the description box below for a link to plans to visit these dimensions, but you can make this project any size you need. If eight foot is too much for you, I've made a six foot version just fine for a photo booth. So definitely take these dimensions with a grain of salt and make it what will fit in your space and your party. One thing I do want to mention is once you've got this erected and you have the fabric over the top, make sure you put weights on the feet. You don't want anyone to bump into this and give it the opportunity to tip. So make sure you put sandbags or bricks um, or anything that will add weight to the bottom so it won't fall over. If you've enjoyed this project, hit the subscription button below. I'd love to have you join along with our projects and leave a comment as well. If there's something you'd like to see, if you have a party coming up and need some help with it, let me know and I'd be happy to answer those conversations. Um, if you'd like to see other projects, check out these videos over here. Find something that inspires you to make something today and create magical moments in your own life. Thanks for watching. Bye.